Hey, what's up? It's Dustin, and I'm back with another question from one of our awesome students. This student wants to know how to make all flex items the same height. There's definitely a couple of different ways to do this, so I'm going to go over a couple of methods when using Flexbox. This guide assumes that you understand basic CSS as we discuss Flexbox. If you need a refresher, check below in the description or teacher's notes for a link to our CSS Flexbox layout course. All right, so let's get right into it. If we look in our browser, we'll see that we have a company logo on the left and then some navigation items. And right off the bat, you see that these navigation items are all the way to the top of this container. And that's probably not what you're wanting. So let's take a look at the CSS and the HTML to see what's going on. Firstly, in the HTML, we have a nav tag. That is the only main item inside of our web page. If we expand that, we see that we have two more elements. We have a div with the class of logo and a unordered list. If we take a look at our list, it's just three list items that list out our links that you see on the page. And if we expand our logo, you see that it's just a paragraph tag that says my company. So with that out of the way, let's check the CSS. From lines one through five, we have a little bit of code here. Don't worry about that. That's just what I personally like to use to reset my browser defaults. But let's start looking at line seven. This is our nav and we're giving it a background color that's a light gray, a little bit of padding, and then we have a display of flex. If we go ahead and turn this display of flex off, you'll notice that everything is more laid out on top of each other. By default, if we say display flex, the default flex direction is set to row. So nothing's gonna change when I type that in, but we do have the option of changing it to column. And this will basically lay out the elements in a column. So let's take that away. So there is actually another flex property that is set by default, and that is called align items. By default, it's set to stretch, and you're not gonna really see anything on the screen here, but I can assure you that the logo as well as the UL are the exact same height. So if I give a background color of red to our UL, you'll see that it is the exact same height as our logo. And that's because the align items property is set to stretch. There are a few other values. We could do start, and that's basically gonna do the same thing, except the height of the actual element is only gonna be the height of the content that it has. We could do end, and that's gonna actually push it all the way to the bottom, or what most people want in this situation is center. Now center will align everything to the center of your flex parent which is our nav. But just know that if you want all the elements of your parent flex container to be the same height, you'll wanna either leave this value as default or just say align items stretch. There are use cases for this and I use this a ton, but more often than not, you might just wanna write center. I hope this guide helped. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about the front end, check out our front end web development track or tech degree. We offer free trials, so check down below in the description for a link and I'll see you guys in the next one.